Sarah Ferguson reveals Queen's touching final piece of advice to her before she died. With the first anniversary of the Queen's death approaching, Duchess of York Sarah Ferguson revealed what her incredible friend said to her shortly before she died. Welcome to Royal Expert if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any news about the British royal family. The Duchess of York has spoken about the touching message ahead of the first anniversary of the monarch's passing next Friday. The Queen, who reigned for 70 years, was 96 when she died in Scotland last year, sparking a period of national mourning. She also spoke of her battle with breast cancer and how she believes the experience has encouraged her to be her true self and wake up. Sarah, 63, said the Queen offered her some personal advice before passing away, and said on the Tea Talks with the Duchess and Sarah podcast that she used to get annoyed when she wasn't being the real Fergie. It's the last thing that the Queen said to me was just be yourself, Sarah. And she saw it, she said. She just got so annoyed when I wasn't being myself. And that's probably when I got into all the pickles. But now I am myself, and I'm just so lucky to be able to be myself. She also said that the Queen told her to always be kind as shared her admiration for the long-serving sovereign. I remember she used to say Sarah there needs to be more kindness in the world, which would disarm malice, she said on the one show back in March. And I feel it's really important we should all stop for a minute and remember those words with respect and affection for a great leader and now has passed it on to another great leader in her son. Earlier this year, Fergie opened up on a profound promise that she made to the late Queen before she died. The Duchess appeared on ITV's Loose Women, where she discussed how she still misses the royal. She said, Her Majesty was an incredible head of state, an incredible mother-in-law and an incredible friend. For me to be able to call her that was the greatest honor in my life. I used to have to pinch myself when I was sitting with her and asking her advice. Her door always remained open to me and we saw a lot of each other right up to the end, for which I will always be grateful. I miss her more than words can express. Recalling a promise that she made to the late Queen before her death in September last year, she said, I said to her before she died, I will be there with him, Prince Andrew, I will help him on his journey. We've all got journeys. Just need to be there with kindness, no judgment and I will because he deserves it. Ferdy also spoke about her support for her former husband, adding, We're longer divorced than married and I believe in the three C's, I found out that Walt Disney actually said there were five C's but I say three C's, communicate, compromise, compassion, and that's what I do with him. We get on because in the darkest time of my life, he was always there for me and in the darkest part of his life, I will be there for him and the Queen of England was there for him, his mum. Crafted from a super soft and lightweight boar fabric, the cardi is perfect for cozying up on the sofa with or heading out on a dog walk on those chilly autumn days. There's even a large hood boasting the same super soft Borg fabric, snug arm cuffs and two pockets to keep your hands warm. Thanks for watching till the end.